What did Daniela Rua say about Eric Christian Olsen's departure? Why do fans think that Olsen's personal life is behind his exit from the show? And what's next for Deeks for the remainder of the season? Hi, I'm Joe, and you're watching Asa, and we're about to spill the tea on what's happening in LA. Give the fans what they want! Ooh. <laughs> what's the situation? A week before NCIS LA's winter hiatus, the writers left fans shook as they dropped a bombshell. Deeks has been fired. Amid the pandemic and reforms in policing worldwide following massive protests, the NCIS LA writers decided to change how they represent law enforcement. Sadly, that means that Deeks had to go. Or did he? I think they're going to be dealing with some issues. Uh, I think if we're going to keep going, we have to keep planting seeds of obstacles so that these characters can overcome those. Just after receiving the bad news that he no longer had a job, Deeks suffered a second blow. Hetty was unable to do anything to save his position. Then, as Nell pointed out, he can't even switch careers to a full-time NCIS agent as he's too old to be accepted in the training program. And of course, the firing comes at the absolute worst time because Kenzie has just had an unhappy blast from her past. David Kessler is back, and he's been pretty vocal about the shocking things he'd like to do to Kenzie. Without his position in the NCIS team, Deeks can only stand by, helpless, while his on-screen wife is under fire. But what does it all mean? Not only does this latest development put a serious spanner in Denzi's plans to start a family and purchase their dream home, but it left fans panicking about the future of Eric Christian Olsen's presence on the show. Is Deke's departure from the team a twisted foreshadowing of the actor's departure from NCIS LA? If a close source is to be believed, that doesn't seem to be the case. According to Olsen's on-screen wife and real-life sister-in-law, Daniela Rua, the actor isn't planning to say farewell to fans. This revelation came shortly after the episode aired, and Daniela shared her sadness about Deke's situation on social media, which led many fans to think that exit rumors were true. Thankfully, though, she cleared up any confusion in an interview with TV Line. She explained, Listen, if Eric were leaving the show permanently, we would know about that by now, and that's obviously not the case. She elaborated by explaining that the move is just something the writers came up with to change the course of where the story is going. It's not the first time that the NCIS LA writers have tried to spice up a character's storyline while freaking out the audience either. Remember that at the end of season 11, Nell gave fans a full-on heart attack when she tried to resign from the team? At the time, the rumor mill was in overdrive about why actress Renee Felice Smith would leave the hit show, only for her to surprise us and stay. Similarly, Eric disappeared for a few episodes, and just as fans were starting to panic, we learned that actor Barrett Foa was actually just busy with a side project and was taking a short break from NCIS. So just because we may not see a character for a while doesn't mean they've left the show. Take Hetty, for example. The actress behind the role, Linda Hunt, is doing any filming for the show from her home in order to minimize her exposure to the possibility of contracting COVID. Because of her age, the actress is a high-risk case as she just turned 75. To make up for her absence, the writers have her hiding out in an unknown location, no doubt up to her eyeballs in stealthy future plans for projects. Currently, all evidence points to the fact that the NCIS writing gods are pulling a similar trick with Deeks, even if it means breaking a few hearts along the way. What evidence, you ask? Well, apart from the fact that Olsen has not actually admitted that he plans to pack his bags and head for another project, he is scheduled to appear in the next episode, in which the synopsis mentions his struggle to come to terms with his new position, or lack thereof. Also, there was a little hint in the show itself. In case you missed it, there was a moment when Sam told him to just stand down until we have your situation straightened out. See, it's gonna get straightened out. And if you don't believe us, take CBS's word for it. Shortly after the episode aired, they tweeted a simple, we love you Deeks, don't worry, Kenzie got this. So we have no doubt that it'll all be straightened out soon. We're not the only ones in shock. Apart from her moving social media coverage of the episode that changed everything, Daniela Rua has been pretty vocal about what this latest development means for Denzi and the future of the on-screen lovebirds. She explained, It's interesting to see how last season, he was the one saying, It's okay, we're going to figure this out. This season, she's the one holding him and helping him through this phase. However, the actress admits that her role as the supportive partner to a depressed Deeks may be short-lived, because after all, she still has a job to do and bad guys to catch. And before you despair about upcoming marriage problems between the down-and-out Deeks and on-the-case Kenzie, Daniela has also given us a tiny ray of hope and a glance into a happier future. 
Chatting to TV Insider, she admitted, But you know, NCIS LA will run its circles in its course, and then some stuff develops and changes and happens, and I'm being really elusive on purpose. Of course, we can't deny that some rumors start with a grain of truth, and when we consider what's been going on in Eric's life, we can understand why fans started to panic. What's happening behind the scenes? Apart from the fact that we're in a global pandemic which has made any kind of normalcy fly out the window, fans have been worried that Eric's personal life could be tempting him away from show business. In September of this year, Eric and his wife, Sarah Wright, welcomed their third child, a girl called Winter Story. At the time, Eric took to social media to express his happiness, and since then, fans have suspected that he may want to take time off the show to be with his family in these strange times. In addition, the actor has spent a great deal of time becoming involved with charity projects, which sparked unfounded rumors that his career might be taking a different trajectory. Earlier this year, the actor revealed via Instagram that he would be co-hosting a fundraiser for a charity called A Walk on Water, which does surf therapy for children with special needs. The virtual event featured a topless Eric introducing performances and guests, as well as an auction. And while these may not seem like legit reasons for the actor to leave the show, it's not surprising that viewers are fearing the worst, as there have been a few times in the past that it seemed that Eric would leave. In 2018, several media outlets reported that the actor may be preparing to bid NCIS LA farewell, simply because he was so busy with other projects. In addition to his role of Deeks, Eric was the executive producer for two CBS shows called Nurses and Life Lessons. However, when fans started protesting, he took to Twitter to reassure everyone he would be doing all three projects until he gave out or his wife killed him. So not only has Eric shown that he has a heart of gold and is a family man, but he's proving pretty great at multitasking. And until we know for sure what the future holds for Deeks, here are a few of our favorite fan theories for what's next for this amazing character. But we can make it work! Just because Deeks' post at NCIS was terminated doesn't mean he's totally destitute. After all, he and Kenzie do still have their bar, the Squid and Dagger. Maybe if his career in law enforcement doesn't take off again, he could focus on the bar and consider expanding it. Of course, this isn't really a viable option, as we're pretty sure there's no way that Deeks would be happy cleaning or filling glasses while his wife was out in the field. Talk about some serious FOMO! There are, of course, other options. Some fans have expressed a desire to see Deeks become a stay-at-home dad, at least temporarily, as he and his wife continue with their plans to buy a house and start a family. And though this could be pretty sweet, just picture Deeks using some secret op moves to wrestle a toddler into a new diaper, the novelty of the storyline would fizzle out pretty quickly, and that FOMO we spoke about earlier would likely resurface. One fan theory that we can definitely get behind is the happy ending. In this version of events, Hetty finds a way to get Deeks back, and while she's at it, officially appoints him as an NCIS agent. And to be honest, we don't care how it happens. It could come after a realization that the whole thing was a horrific misunderstanding, or Deeks could even be called back to consult on an old case. We're not fussy, just bring him back! Our final theory is outlandish and dramatic, and that's exactly why we love it. Imagine a world in which Deeks throws caution to the wind and is so concerned about Kenzie now that David Kessler is back that he decides to go rogue to protect her. Sure, it's not really in character, but it does work for the romance angle and would bring a new badassery to Deeks as a rebel. And who knows, maybe he'll even realize he loves being a one-man team and start up a private detective agency. The possibilities are almost endless. What are you hoping is in store for Deeks and for Denzi? Do you think any of our theories could work? Let us know in the comments below, and until next time, stay awesome!